chickenpox. Everything we need to know. Chickenpox is a very common disease that typically affects children under the age of 10. Many children will catch it at some point, but that doesn't stop you from worrying when you wake up one day to find your little one covered in nasty looking spots. In order to deal with the condition as quickly and effectively as possible, it helps to have a good understanding of what it is, the symptoms to look out for, and the treatment options available. In this video, you'll discover everything you need to know about chickenpox and what to do if you suspect your little one has it. Now before I begin, I should say that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered medical advice. Always consult with a doctor or licensed medical professional before making any medical decisions. Carrying on. So what is chickenpox? Chickenpox is usually a mild but very contagious virus. However, in some cases, it can be more severe and can rarely go on to affect the brain and liver. While this is extremely rare, it is still something you need to be aware of and highlights the importance of getting your little one treated quickly. The good news is, most of the time chickenpox only lasts for around 4-7 to seven days. During this time, however, they will appear to pass the virus on to other children, so we need to keep them isolated until it disappears. As chickenpox is a virus, to be infected, they would have to be in the same room as somebody else who has it. It can be passed on via sneezing, or even just from being close to the person infected. While it's common, but still possible, is your baby could catch chickenpox if they come into contact with somebody suffering from shingles. This is because shingles are also caused by the same virus. The symptoms of chickenpox are very distinctive. Most commonly associated with a red, angry looking rash, there are actually a few other symptoms that come first. You may start to notice your baby has a fever, vomits, or loses their appetite. These symptoms tend to start a few days before the actual rash appears. The rash itself can range in severity. Some babies develop just a few little spots, whereas others are covered in them from head to toe. It's always worth taking them to a doctor regardless of how severe the rash looks. The rash also changes pretty quickly. Within just a few hours, the spots blister over. They don't all appear at the same time either. The rash and spots will usually continue to develop over the course of a few days. While most of the time chickenpox is a very mild infection, it can still cause your little one a lot of distress and discomfort. While there aren't any actual specific treatments for the condition, there are a few things you can get from the pharmacy that can help. Infant and child Tylenol can really help reduce the flu-like symptoms in the first few days. Always consult with a doctor before giving them any medications, however, as even those designed specifically for babies might not be suitable for your little one. Calamine lotion is also extremely effective at relieving the itchiness caused by the spots. It will cool and soothe the area, and is completely safe for your baby's sensitive skin. The actual blisters themselves should cross over and then fall off within one to two weeks. One of the most common myths you'll come across regarding chickenpox is that once you've had it, you can't catch it again. In many cases this is true, but it is still possible to develop it again later in life. One man is warned about the risk of redeveloping the condition as an adult. After attending a chickenpox party, yes, it's surprisingly a real thing, Tom Sykes contracted chickenpox for the second time in his life. The goal of the chickenpox party was to infect other children with the virus and the belief they would get it over and done with. And don't ask me why this is a thing because I don't know honestly. Chickenpox is known to be a lot more severe when it's contracted later in life. So, by this logic, parents believe if their children develop it early, they're protected in the long term. Purposely exposing a little one to chickenpox in this manner in the hope they won't develop it later on isn't a good move, obviously. It may decrease the chances, but there's a possibility they will still get it again in adulthood. Not to mention, your child's doctor will have far more safe and effective options to prevent and handle chickenpox. Overall, chickenpox isn't usually something you need to worry about, and thankfully these days, it's a lot less common than it once was. However, if you do suspect your little one has the condition, always consult with a doctor. It also helps to keep them off nursery and away from pregnant women and those with a lower immune system until they are no longer contagious. That's all for this video. If you found this video helpful, we would really appreciate it if you'd share this video with someone else who you think would benefit from knowing this information, as well as hopping on over to our website and signing up for our email newsletter by clicking the link in the description. By signing up, you not only be the first to hear about our new releases, but you also gain exclusive goodies that are only given to our email subscribers. Finally, the next time you're looking to buy baby products, I encourage you to take a look at what we have available. Let me tell you, we aren't just out to make a profit, and pride ourselves on our high quality products and excellent service. 
I'll store that baby products with laboratory testing to ensure they are 100% safe for you and your baby, which unfortunately isn't something every company can say. On top of that, we donate 10% of our profits to children's charities and hope to increase this percentage as Starlight Baby continues to grow. Therefore, your support goes a long way towards helping a lot of people, even if it's just something as simple as subscribing to our channel here on YouTube. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and here's to making a positive difference in the lives of our children and the world as a whole.